sorry, give me one second to find the other one that I wanted to read you. Okay. I like, I recently um, went with Makage on, on tour for a couple, to see Consider the Source for a couple shows. They inspire the crap out of me too. <laughs> Those guys are amazing. If you've never seen them, you definitely should sometime. But anyway, this is their favorite one. I found myself lost in a space-time trance. To find my way out, I learned how to dance. Something made sense when the vibrations surrounded me. Everyone was being moved by the same harmony. Is music the key to awaken the blind? Or is it simply the ultimate way to spend time? There are very few enlightened individuals walking around this planet. Most of them are musicians cocking their sound cannons. Soldiers of peace and gnarly ass beats. Music raises people up to their feet. It's easier to move the masses by melting their face than by forcing them to read it all page by page. Rock stars know something that most people don't. They manifested their world like I manifested this poem. Of course, nothing can fulfill the soul like a damn good intellectual conversation. And also, doing anything at all is also playing with vibrations. But music seems to be that worldly grid, along with the internet, that influences kids. So why not make our music deeper and make our sound more profound so that when people get down, their mind flips around? Let's collectively enhance our society and sobriety by selectively dancing away our anxiety and variety. Okay, and finally, that band again, Consider the Source, they, I attempted to ponder at their name, and this is what came out. What if you considered the source? Why and what was the initial force? What imagined existence then made it real? Who designed the system that allows you to feel? Then who imagined disease and the ability to regenerate yourself? And who set the fire that fuels man's dangerous lust for wealth? We must be a product of evolution, because even now we advance through revolution. But who was the thinker who set off the flame that so many religions have given a name? The source must be conscious, and how did that happen? And is he a whole? Or is he a fraction? Did it comprehend itself and know it is real? And does it abide by dynamics of the karma wheel? And if we have a parent, does he have a parent? And so forth forever. Is it a multi-imagination with the driving force to be better? Is it simply an ego that created us all? If we turned out a failure, would the source just fall? Surely it can't be the pesky part in us that drives the force that imagined up trust. Are we evolving to be the source ourselves? Is time really backwards like quantum mechanics points out? But if you think for a moment, time can't exist. It can be different in a cyclical sense, ticking towards bliss, or non-existent, or eternal, or sp spread out through hyperspace. Are we figuring out God through our visit to cyberspace? What is the internet but instant information? It seems like we're com coming of age in the nations. Let's be real for a second. Something is strange. We feel something happening, but it's out of our range. The source must have the ability to wonder and wander, because something he pondered has made him fonder. He's created emotions and blissful sensations, merely as a reward for procreation or a product of the blessing of manifestation. Free will but must be real because we choose what we feel. Cause and effect are a product of time that's not real. So what is the deal and what are we for? What's at the center of the human core? Are we God 
just imagining ourselves and creating? Or is there something beyond us? And is that thing raiding? How far does this go? And what are our dreams? Do they tell us an answer or what this all means? Why can we think so I can write this poem? And my final question is whether this world is our home.